This is a quick video demonstration of our brand new hybrid LT Ultimate Series 16 channel DVR. This unit is brand new to our lineup. It has exactly the same interface as all of our other DVRs. So if you, now ha if you know how to use or you're familiar with our other DVRs, then this DVR works exactly the same way. Uh, this demonstration will show you how to connect remotely because typically we do everything through the network. It's just so much easier to operate and configure our DVRs through the network. So all you have to do is type in the IP address of the DVR and then the default username and password is going to be admin admin. Once you log in you can go ahead and just go to like a multi-camera view. I'll open up 25 and then click open all and all of the cameras that are connected to your DVR will then display. Now in this particular case, all we have connected are two analog cameras and then four IP cameras. So you can actually have 20 cameras connected to this DVR. Now for the purpose of bandwidth, because these cameras all use tremendous amount of bandwidth, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, open up one camera at a time. So the first camera here is our auto tracker PTZ and you can actually see it's there tracking a car that's moving. So, you know, the auto tracker is an excellent camera. This is our 27X auto tracker. It's programmed after a few seconds to go back to the home position. And again, you know, once it sees movement, it'll go ahead and track that movement. So that's the auto tracker. We'll take a look at the next camera is our 10X PTZ. This is our economy 10X PTZ, and it's actually a great value. It can do the job of many cameras, but at the expense of only about one camera. Uh, this particular PTZ is set up to be on a auto track, so it, it's on a tour, and it's just constantly scanning a section of our parking lot. And as you can see, it's really doing a job of several cameras, so it can save you a lot of money, especially considering that this particular camera is a great value. The next camera I'm going to show you is our megapixel box camera. And you can see here the difference in the resolution. This camera is a 3 megapixel IP box camera. It's a brand new item in our lineup. Uh, on our hybrid DVR, it can record at 2 megapixel resolution, which is equal to 1080p resolution in real time, 30 frames per second. And as you can see here, the detail is just incredible. If you're looking for a security camera to provide you with outstanding detail for facial capture, license plate capture, or just a great amount of detail, then our megapixel IP cameras are really the way to go, and they blend in perfectly with our hybrid DVR. And as you can see, you can go ahead and you can just zoom in. Normally, you'll get a lot of pixelation when you zoom into a small section like this, but you can see here, you can zoom in, you can still clearly read that stop sign, which is quite a ways away. So again, a great camera. If you look at the resolution, I mean, you can see the reflection in the water. It's just a beautiful image. It's over 20 times the resolution of what any other standard CCTV camera will be able to bring you in a DVR. So the other features of this DVR, and there are a lot of them, but we're just going to go over some of the basics real quick. You could configure all the settings of our DVR here through the network. And this makes our unit very different from a lot of the other units that are out there. Most units, when you connect remotely, all you can do is either view the live video, some of them will allow you to search recorded video, but very few allow you to configure every single setting through the network like we can. So here, you know, it, the, the, the GUI in the network is just really easy to use. As you can see here, you know, we go into hard drive info, it shows me there's two hard drives, one is recording, the other one's in hibernation. What's great about this DVR is it will hold up to eight internal hard drives of three terabytes apiece, which means you can have 24 terabytes of internal storage inside of this DVR. It's a tremendous amount of storage. There's also a log, so if somebody is going into your DVR changing settings or if your DVR should fail or go off for some reason, you can go back and look through the log and see everything that's been done inside of your DVR. And then all of your settings are done in the encode setting for each individual camera. Here you can name your camera, so you can name it for the front door, the back door, 
you know, register, main register, whatever you'd like to name it. And this is where you configure each individual camera what resolution it'll be recording in. On this particular DVR, the 16 analog cameras can all be recording at D1 resolution, which is the highest resolution in standalone DVRs, in real time 30 frames per second on every channel at the same time. In addition, you can also set up your substream, which is used for your iPhone, Android, or smartphone connection to view your cameras, which, by the way, we have a great applications for your phones, and our applications are all free. We don't charge for them. Uh, and then you can also set up regions. You can mask out areas that you don't want to trigger motion. There's just an infinite number of configurations and settings that you can do here. You also have the ability of setting up your alarms, uh, you can set up your detection, uh, you can set up uh, your pan tilt zoom cameras and configure them from here, you can manage your hard drives from here, uh, there's really no limit to what you can do. You can also set up snapshots and these snapshots can be used for example when a motion occurs after certain hours it can email you snapshots of the events as they're occurring or you can have them to upload automatically to an FTP server so if somebody were to break into your place of business and were to uh, disable your DVR the 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 events that are occurring up to that point in time the snapshots will be sent to your FTP server and will be recorded off-site so that you still have a record of what occurred uh, while you were gone. Uh, of course you have auto maintenance, you have a matrix. This DVR has a HDMI video output, a VGA video output, and a BNC video output all for your main monitors. And then there's an additional spot monitor that's a special output that allows you to set up groups of cameras that will run in rotation and display in rotation. Additionally, you have every channel has a loop out which allows you to display individual monitors for each individual camera. So for example, in your back warehouse, you want them to be able to see your front door, you can set up a separate monitor just for that. Remote devices is where you're actually going to set up your uh, megapixel or IP cameras. It will search the network, find the cameras. It's really easy to do and then you can add up to four IP cameras, so a total of 20 channels to this DVR with your four IP cameras. And of course there's also uh, your DDNS service. So we have a free service. Our DVRs work with most of the free services that are out there. Now in addition to that of course you can search for video. Searching for video is really easy. All you have to do is choose what camera you want to search video for, click search, it'll find all the video, it's all cataloged by date and time, whether it was standard recording, which by the way, our DVR is capable of doing something most can't do. Our DVR can record 24 hour recording and have separate motion detection recording and you can configure your motion recording to record at let's say 30 frames per second at the highest resolution and all other 24 hour recording to be occurring at a much lower resolution at let's say one frame per second to conserve uh, storage. So all you have to do once uh, you find a recording that you want to play back just double click on it and it will play back. I mean it's really just that easy. This is footage that's playing back right now that occurred yesterday at 4.20 in the afternoon. If you decide that you want to download that footage, again that's really simple to do. All you do is click download and it will download that footage directly to your uh, PC and then from there you can do whatever you want with that video footage. So again, you know, very easy to work with our DVRs. This is the most advanced DVR on the market today. It's a combination of our Ultimate or LT series DVR and a hybrid system that will allow you to have up to four 3 megapixel cameras recording actually at 2 megapixel or 1080p resolution in real time on all four channels. I hope you found this to be very informative. Please contact us if you have any questions. Thank you.